Hey everybody, welcome back. Put me back on pay to win. Still working it out on the test patch. It'd be nice to get a, a, a 10 win Marty. I love a, a double ladybug fish build. Roll me. I love a double fish ladybug build too. I'm, I'm not uh, picky. I'm gonna be the, uh, I'm gonna be a low key carrot. You know what I mean? Like a, like, like a baby carrot, but I'm not a baby. I'm just low key. The God of Mischief? Wow, Loki, God of Mischief. We, uh, draw these by the grace of Team Wood Games. I think my new strategy is about to be readily apparent. Because what I think my new strategy is, is the best way, and we've gone through phases in the meta. Dude, that's freaking sick, though. 3, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. Um... We've gone through phases in the meta, uh, not just with respect to the strength or weakness of certain animals and animal, you know, pairs, um, but also, like, when winning is at its peak. You know, there, there's been times where scaling was king, which meant you could lose early, but reliably get to 10 wins as long as you scaled. Um, I think we're in a win-fast sort of world right now. Like, I think our best option, let's, let's start here for now, is to, and this is just IMO, I'm still going to get a puppy, <laughs> for sure, but I, I feel like our best option, freeze me, roll me, buy me, unfreeze me, I was going to meet me, but that's fine. Uh, is, is to build the team that is best early instead of gets best later. So the team that we have right now is is merely okay. I'm kind of like immediately going back on what I said our plan was, I guess. Um, two, three, three. We actually draw this, which is crazy to me. Our puppy is kind of like a hedge for the future. At least with a puppy and maybe a caterpillar, we can like combo that into something uh, useful. And the swan helps make the puppy stronger with like less cost to ourselves. Um, but I definitely, like, enjoy that. 5-7 with a little meat protection. And we can afford to buy, like, one other thing here, and it will be you. But I, I think winning now is better than it's been in a long time. But I could be wrong. I'm also just one individual, and, you know, there's a lot of people new to the channel. You know, Super Auto Pets has brought around a, a new audience. I'm bad at video games and not good at analyzing the systems behind them. So a lot of the, like, I'm as surprised as anybody. Let's go with this for a second. Um, that I, I'm actually, like, half decent or maybe more than half decent. Very important here. But let's start with a salad. Hit the, actually, I don't care what you hit now that I think about it because you get the buff anyway. Um... Uh, nobody's more surprised than me that I'm like half decent or even better than half decent to figure out figuring out what's going on in Super Auto Pets. Like I'm, I'm pretty pleased by that. This is gonna be very scary. Freshly juiced, you know, with with a couple of caterpillars that are scaling off of that dog is a little spicy. But uh, obviously, right now we got nothing to worry about. So four or five fish get out of here. De I don't know why I did it that way, but definitely need another puppy. For now, I have absolutely no problem rolling two swans. And I'll buy an apple for our puppy, which now is going to be uh, an 11 12. Figured the food was good. It also buffs our ladybug temporarily. I think the ladybug is like a, an amazing win now sort of unit. You're so lucky. I think we draw. Maybe I'm lucky, I don't know. I was just like, our, our puppy almost made it through one extra unit there. But the ladybug, the, the more we draw, the less likely it is this ladybug is gonna get us there long term, I think. Which is why I'm immediately gonna buy another one. <laughs> no, we're gonna start here. Rhino. Rhino. Mighty interesting, the rhino. It is so early. What if you went can? Rhino. Freeze some garlic for your dog next turn. 13, 14 puppy, 7, 9 rhino. I, I don't know. The rhino might be a little understated. It's a great melon armor destroyer. You can't disagree with that. 
You're so freaking lucky. <laughs> we still draw. Dude, I, I can't seem to get over anybody. All I can do is, like, I, we're evenly matched. It's a bit of a mess, but this is good. Man, one extra level on Puppy would, would change the game right now, but I think we're going to do it like this. I don't see it. I just don't see it. I do see it. I don't see it. Okay. Continue moving on. Uh, the swan is great. The rabbit, it, it probably doesn't need to exist anymore, but I it is an easy scaler for sure. Um, hmm. Hmm. Dude, we got super lucky here. I'll take it. Garlic armor helped us win a, a number of fights there. We maybe shouldn't have won. And, you know, let's focus on the positive, right? Like, we got a lot of draws. There's no doubt about that. But we also have zero losses. Zero loss? That's pretty cool to have zero losses. That doesn't happen that often. We, we built, like, a resilient uh, board here. Probably looking, honestly, like a scorpion, to me, beats a, a rhino any day of the week here. I do wonder about, like, what we do once we start meeting teams that are incredibly strong, which should be happening, like, any second now. I think we're going to be a little blessed. You know, it, see, am I crazy? I'm, I'm only putting this pattern together now. We seem to be seeing a lot of lobsters. Get out of here. Don't buy this yet. Buy this. I love where this is going. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> and then roll me? Freeze me? I love it. Um, is it possible lobsters are the play now? It, I, I think we're just playing the same person over and over and I'm not noticing. That's what I'm going to guess. <laughs> that's, that's what seems most likely to me. Okay, we're going to eat it here. It just that was a very good situation. Honestly, a boar is a tier six. That's a, it's a strong unit here. They got it a little earlier than we did for sure. Um, let's do this. Browser's having some hiccups. That's okay. Give me a combine. Sell. Freeze, freeze, and then roll a scorpion up at the front. I still think, well, I don't know. It's increasingly becoming unlikely we get to 10 wins. We never got, I mean, th even this looks terrible. Like, really bad. We never got to a, a level 2 puppy. We never got a caterpillar to, to play the scaling off of that. And we kind of banked on that, like, the whole time. So, um... Hey, Tomo, are you okay, buddy? That's not the door to the living room. That's the door to the cleaning closet. You really want to go in there? Oh, he's freaking me out. He's doing like some Blair Witch Project stuff. Um, I'll do this even if it is a scorpion. It's okay. Life goes on. Look at that tanky scorpion. Uh, our, our rabbit can probably go. I don't know. At this point, I feel like you sort of got to try to get a boar in there. Or at least something that can, you know, change your, your fortunes for you. Um, a, a boar with melon armor seems seems pretty good. I really don't think the puppy has gotten... Oh my god, come on. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> specifically designed to hard counter like what I got going on. Is that lethal? It, it actually might be. There's the double caterpillar that we, we saw coming earlier. Okay, we got one life left. Man, when it fell apart, it fell apart, huh? The ladybug is actually pure garbage now. It has uh, no reason to exist. I held on to it too long. I take the responsibility. Don't get me wrong. I take the responsibility. Freeze this. Just trying to spread the love around a little bit here. Keep the puppy scaling. Even though I really doubt that those extra plus two plus two are going to make that much of a difference. Man, I'm just gonna call it like, and this is with with no salt intended. We're gonna win this round actually, which is kind of crazy to me. But um, they, I have never seen a more useless scorpion, and it's not even the scorpion's fault. But like, its whole 
life thus far has just been trading with other scorpions meaninglessly, or alternatively, um, it will take a bat to start overriding some equipment, maybe, uh, or alternatively, uh, hitting melon armor and, and getting nothing out of it. So pretty, pretty sad stuff out of our scorpions so far. I think, look, I'm going to keep the bat. The bat is really like, it's a Hail Mary. And then I'm, I'm thinking, like, what have you... You know what? Let's get crazy. Let's roll a boar with a tiger up at the front. So it'll get 4-4 four, four every time it attacks. Let's give the tiger a chili pepper and roll the rest of the squad like this. Why? I just need to mix up my... I, I need to hit him with, like, a low kick when I've been hitting them with uppercuts all game. This is beautiful, by the way. So it would have been better to override your melons, but that's okay. At least we broke your melon. We kill you. My God, it worked! It worked. Our our insane mix-up. Sometimes when you're when you're in a rough spot, you just gotta try something new. Now you give plus two plus one. Certainly that's better than a bat. Hey Tomo. Could buy one thing. They'll just buy some pizza. Okay, totally fine. Um, everything gets slightly buffed. The T-Rex is like, it's worse now. It used to give plus two, plus two. Um, but we're keeping three gold for our puppy for at least a little bit anyway. How's this working? Dude, oh, oh, oh it's at least okay. You piece. We were so close. Well, not really. How'd you get a 44-16 money, man? We're hard stuck at, at seven here. We're doing our best, though. Okay, let's... Come on. We got a t I know we got ten wins in us. I think it, we got to get a, a little scaling factor early. You know what? I really think... In a, a world where there's a lot of three ones, a lot of one twos, etc., etc., as we play as the clean buttocks... Um, I don't see how we lose this round. I have been illuminated as to how we lose this round. We literally just go up against a cricket. That would do it. Um, but either way, long term, I'm still a believer. Let's not take a fish. Let's freeze an ant. I'm thinking... <laughs> Um, dude, I still like a ladybug. It's probably a little late. You know what? I, I don't mind, though. What, what about one of these? Just give you a B. Then we've got a 2-2 two, two ant. Which will allow our level 2 ant to have one more HP next turn. It's not a huge get, but, like... That's terrible luck. That's good luck. We... We win these. Look at that. I think the B seems like it's a little bit... Like, I think I underrated it a little bit. I'm willing to say that. I think the B is actually kind of cracked. I know what you're thinking. All I'm going to say is that the puppy has been, like, kind of good for us. Good for the tuna. Um, it, it's just we need to get it to level 2 or we need to... At least stop focusing on it at some point and get a better scaling unit like, you know, a, a, a buffalo. I know this looks like a colossal error. <laughs> but I, I I know what you're saying as well. You're probably like, wow, incredible. I didn't even scale the puppy that time. What are you thinking? Incredible. Man um, who always does the same thing and then says we got to mix it up and try something new does exactly the same thing and gets uh, no uh, no different result. Well, that's not true. We, we did do something different. We didn't uh, enable that effect at all. How about that? Uh, I'm going to... Um, honestly, I'm going to sell you. Then I'm going to pill you. That's what I wanted to see. You're okay. You can be like a mercenary. We can buy one other unit. These are all pretty terrible. I'm going to buy a shrimp and accept that we're probably going to lose this next round. Um, but the shrimp allows us to scale the two units we actually like a little bit longer. Maybe, but maybe not. 
<laughs> this round was going nowhere. I, I accept my loss with, with uh, gratitude for the learning opportunity. I sell you. Not exactly what you want to see, but that's okay. Tell you what, how about we buy one of these? How about we buy one of these? Don't hit the shrimp, thank you. How about we don't buy one of those? I'm accepting my four squad Marty here as well. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm buying you because you're giving plus two, plus two to everybody. We're going to skip a turn of puppy scaling. Yes, I accept this. 16-8. You re more than anything else, you really need garlic armor. Optics on this one. Actually looking pretty good. I, I, I was a little despondent, but we, we brought it back. Dude, what about a tropical fish here? Like, I can't shake the feeling like a tropical fish could do something for us. Either way, give me some HP. Uh, we could do a sell-by, but I don't think we need to. We could probably afford to dump the shrimp at some point. There's not really much of a need, though. Freeze me. Freeze me. It's pretty useful. Um, I think... It, I know that this seems really bad for puppy scaling purposes. But I think we can do this. Even though we lose the plus two, plus two, we get a plus five, plus five on our bird... Seems to fit my goal of, of winning in the moment. Please do not hit the peacock. Merciful. Merciful. Didn't even have to use our uh, our big unit. Phrasing. By the way, I apologize. Uh, I would need a little mucusy. It happens. Um, the shrimp has got to go. Give me a buy pill. We can afford one more unit. Uh, personally, I'm kind of weird. I would like it if our unit was good. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to freeze you. I don't think this is what we want, but we can merge you next turn as well. The pair is going to be like a nice get. What are you going to be? Like a 2314 with melon armor? Is kind of sick. Like, that's a strong unit. It's maybe not as good as a 1927 bird. <laughs> um, that's pretty tough. That's that's a tough one to deal with. Dude, these birds are, are popping off. He The cat is fine. He's just, he's very meowy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Tomo. Okay. One of these is pretty sick. Well, you know what? First, we should combine. It gives us the same effect. Never mind. Freeze me. Roll me. Scorpion? No scorpion? What about a bird that buffs itself, okay? What's the problem, man? You know, I'm, I'm going to pause just to let the cat outside. He seems highly perturbed by something. All right, I am back. Uh, I really don't want to lose this... This one. So if that's the case, I really feel like my best chance is this. Call me a little crazy. I think it, it just improves our odds that much more. We can buy the pair for the puppy on the next one. I mean, this is a win. My God. <laughs> that's substantially better than I expected it to go. We don't need to get to 10 wins. We just need to win every round from this point onwards. Then we'll see what happens. Like, this looks great. Still want to keep the puppy scaling. Did, did they nerf the puppy um, so that it only shows up once? Like, it never gets to level 2? Is that its thing? It's very unlikely 1 HP makes all the difference. However, for one round, 
you get a 2-4 that also gives 2 HP to 2 enemies, essentially of your choice. That's pretty good value, man. Like, it's like a... It's like an animal plus an apple for the price of an apple. I don't know if it's good to stick with it long term, but... Um, so you, you're going to start giving permanent plus twos. I, I, as much as I hate to say it, I really don't think that's the play, man. I really think the play is getting your puppy up a level. But it's also one of those situations where I'm like, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, guess what? You better start believing it. Because we just got a level two puppy. Which means it's going to scale that much faster. If we win this run... Well, whether we win or lose, we're probably going to sell Tropical Fish for Scorpion. The only thing that scares me here is a level 2 turtle. But I think we still get a kill right there, which is totally fine. I love the melon armor on the, like, 3-4 caterpillar. That's 7 wins. Okay, now we just keep it going. Man, that, that puppy get was so lucky. <laughs> I'm still kind of uh, flabbergasted. Beautiful. Okay, I don't know how long the hatching chick's gonna stick around, but that's fine. You know what we can actually do? As crazy as this will look, I think we can start buffing something that's gonna stick around slightly longer. Like, our tropical fish is gonna leave. We might as well give a permanent plus two, plus two to the bunny. We could give it to the bird, but the bird needs to eat its own... Uh, its own buff right now. I think. I think. We draw these? That's a really good use of melon armor from our opponent. They, they did a great job. I think our team was a little bit better, except for the fact that they had that melon armor. So what can you say? Level 2 puppy 4241 is good enough. You're gonna leave. You're gonna stay. We really need melon. Short of melon, though? Why don't we roll a little... Just a little garlic. Because we know we got to stay at three gold. Chocolate, probably best applied to our T-Rex. Melon, very important. I don't think we need anything else here. I'm still happy keeping the scorpion frozen. It's like the ultimate Hail Mary for us. Um, round 12. It's a strong round 12 team. We're just worried about getting sniped on the melon armor or like overridden by a bat. Still kills you. Still kills you. Level one rooster. We get you, we win these. Okay, do it. I'm not saying the slump is over because we got a long way to go. Like those last two wins are the are the hardest to get. Don't need a puppy. For now. Why not? Take take a little slice of that. We can afford this. The only thing I would shell out for here is either chocolate or T-Rex. We didn't get it. We enjoy our 50-50. Everybody gets scaled, you know, multiple times. Round 13. Nothing overriding our melon armor, please. This is a spooky team. Like, a level 2 rooster is spooky. I think we're going to get as far as the buffalo. You know what? We win these. Little close. <laughs> could It could have been more comfortable, but... Dare I suggest. We're in there. Um, I think now, keep that rabbit around for a minute, but sell this. That's a plus two, plus two buff. It's not very economical at this phase of our existence. Even if we're over buffing the puppy. It's 4-2, I'm assuming, from the T-Rex. Yeah, 4-2. Even if we're over-buffing the puppy, that's fine. That's like, what's the opposite of collateral damage? We got, like, collateral benefit. <laughs> this is gonna do it, I think. I Genuinely, I'm a little surprised, but look at that. We got to 10 wins. Wasn't exactly the most unusual squad of all time, but in a, in a way, I kind of feel like I got some of my confidence back there. Let's run one more back. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'll do it, but I, you know, only because A, I love the game. Be the untouched. Moody Sailors, that's a good one. Only because I love the game. People like watching it, and the response has been very positive and nice, okay? But only for those three related reasons am I going to keep playing today. 
The upset husbands, you piece. Okay, so there's one loss. It's a strong team, but it happens. I was gonna say it's a pretty it's a pretty great time to get a B. I really there was two or three weeks where I didn't take honey at all. I thought it was pure garbage. I really like it doesn't fit my worldview that honey is good. Because it feels like mathematically it should be bad. Oh, that's a draw. But the the I, I feel like it's it's either mathematical or it's a trick. And the trick is like um that it seems like it's doing great stuff, but actually, no matter where the honey appears, it would do great. But since it's in the back, it looks like the bee gets you the win and it tricks your brain. I don't know if that's true. But I'm going to take a tabby cat just because I want to, you know, fill some space here for a second. Sure, give me an owl. You know what? Let's try something. I can't... You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Don't invest in the fish anymore. But I am wondering if... If Rabbit Tabby Cat can't break this wide open. You know what I mean? Well, it's going to be devastating when I lose my 7-2 to a 2-2. That's for sure. But we do win these. Tabby Cat. Rabbit. And then you feed the Tabby Cat like crazy. Might as well give you this. You could take some meat if you gotta. Probably your best option. I'm scared of how my life will look if this works. That's what's got me bothered right now. Like, I, I still think the Tabby Cat is basically unplayable. But what if this turns the world on its axis, you know? Things may never be the same. If, if a rabbit is all that is needed to make a tabby cat, like a, a, a B tier unit or better, who knows? Who knows what might happen? Uh, I think you're way better off on a sell. Even if we're just going to buy it back right after. Probably should have bought your unit first. Just a little hypothetical there. You know what? I don't know if that's true because like that's just very good. We don't even want the salad, I think, necessarily. We only want targeted foods. Um, that's insanely good. Uh, I would probably feed you garlic, quite frankly. Yeah, this is fine. Even though the meat is good, I feel like I'm overspending on the food. The food is giving, like, almost, uh, well, at least, like, a cupcake's worth of attack to everybody. Every time. We win these. Freshly juiced. This should not be working as easily as it is. Like, it's just the math doesn't feel right to me. But, and, and yet, here we are. So sell the mosquito. I know we could buy more rabbits, but just wait a moment on that one, okay? So I'm also looking for more tabby cats. <laughs> Which sadly appear not to exist, but you're lucky, man. And by you're lucky, I mean, like, all of my opponents are lucky. Because this is... If, if that salad had hit the tabby cat, like, it's over for you. I think we... I think we win this one. Didn't even have to use our fish. Which is somehow, like, a 9-10. Please give me a tabby cat. Like, the only way this is going to be useful is if we get a tabby cat. I don't really want a goat. They did. They nerfed the goat, which was one of like the most um, surprising nerfs for me. Is when they made the goat only have two charges on its ability instead of three. Because uh, I, I, outside of like Ludwig's tournament, I feel like I didn't really see that many people rolling a, a goat to begin with. But obviously, they know something I don't know. I think we we win this one. And I'm starting to kind of... I'm losing faith in my senses. Like, am I hallucinating right now? How is it possible... The fish has got to go, man. Come on. How is it possible that we're winning this run right now? Like, we have five wins and one loss with a tabby cat rabbit build. It doesn't seem plausible.
I don't know, man. We got a 5-1 deer. At some point, it's gonna fall off. That, that point might be like now, <laughs> for the record. No, it's not. We're gonna win this one. Do not juice me, you piece. Sorry. Please, Hammer, don't juice him. I already did. All right, well, you heard it here first. Somehow, Tabby Cat is meta now. How about you take one of those? I'm just going to be real with you. I think we're going to want to sell our deer. Buy a salad so it's more likely to hit our cat, which is where we want the buffs to begin with. Um, you can always freeze a scorpion. <laughs> For next time. For next time. For next time? For next time? Dude, I would kind of love to... I mean, we could just feed the tabby cat some chocolate, but it's not a permanent buff, but it is a nice food bonus. Hmm. I don't know. You killed my scorpions. That's going to that's gonna put a real damper on things. Not going to try to deny it. Hey, we lost one. It's been known to happen. The rumors of my demise are not greatly exaggerated. They're just literally true. Let's do this. Oh, you got to. I don't think you can even really think about this one. You ever think about, though, um, forget that chocolate for now. You ever think about getting, like, another unit <laughs> that actually, like, exists to do positive things? Instead of just be, like, fodder. Well, you know what? We're only on round, uh... We're only on round 10. This is not that bad. You could just roll the tabby cat and like 12 scorpions. Source, source dude, just trust me. I don't know how we're gonna get 12 spaces, but like I'm I'm laughing at what's happening right now because it, it just doesn't make sense to me that we've now gotten to seven wins. We don't have puppy dog, caterpillar, buffalo, bison, etc., etc. Like this is, sure, sure, welcome. Our squirrel is now better. I'm just going to own this, okay? Like, this is not good for our T-Rex. However, we do get a nice attacking buff. Freeze this. Freeze this. They'll cost two next turn. Maybe you don't need to freeze an apple. Just freeze the melon. So that was not good for our T-Rex. But now we have a level 3 2550 Tabby Cad. Probably not the best thing to do mathematically. But kind of a very funny thing to do. From a humor and Zane standpoint. Okay, so we're, we're not even... Are we on lethal, actually? Yeah, we are. Okay. Never mind what I was going to say about not being on lethal. It turns out we're on lethal. Give me this. Enjoy your buff. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. <laughs> Buy me? No, 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 no. I wouldn't dare. I think that that it it none of our units have an ability that affects us in battle, unfortunately. Even even the hatching chick. So I think our actual best play is we just get another rabbit for now. And then we get ready to maybe feed our T-Rex some melon armor if we're lucky enough to win this one. Which, I'm realizing we actually don't have that much killing power. It could be a little close here. 43 damage is pretty tough for us to output. Okay, fair enough. We, we ran it back. We got a level 3 tabby cat stalled out at 7, but I can live with that. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. See you.